How's it going everyone? Phil here from Furious Technology. Today we are unboxing the Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter lens f2.8. This is for the Sony E-mount mirrorless cameras right here, as you can see right there on the side of it. Got just a white box with some information and all that good stuff right there. Let's go ahead and pop it open for the first time right here. And we're gonna be mounting this on to my Sony a7 IV camera. So we'll go ahead and see what that looks like in a second here. So we've got uh, some sort of instructions of some sort. I don't really care about instructions. You know how it is, guys. We just like to get to the good stuff right here. So we're gonna go ahead and pop it open right here. So it looks like we've got it in the middle. So it's kind of mounted in the middle just like that. So I, I would assume you just pull it just kind of out like this. There we go. So we pull it out. Boxes to the side right here. Those are your nice protected boxes. And just to verify, there is nothing else in the box there itself besides just that. So no case or anything like that included with the lens itself. We do have some good packaging though. We'll go ahead and take that out right there. And there we have it for the very first time right here. You can see it does have a lens hood included. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that lens hood off. So it's just a pretty tiny lens hood, nothing too spectacular, too big or anything like that. Uh, but it is a wide angle lens, so you don't want anything too crazy big to uh, interfere with the camera. But there's the lens itself. So uh, pretty solid feeling lens. It is a lot of plastic. I mean, it's not like a premium, like two or $3,000 lens. This one you can get under $1,000. And it's still a solid, feel though. It is very, very solid, even though it is plastic material. Uh, let's go ahead and see what, ooh, that is smooth. Okay, so very smooth right there. Very, very nice like that. And let's go ahead and pop open our Tamron lens cover right there. And we get a nice look at that lens itself. I would recommend definitely getting a uh, UV filter so we can protect the lens from getting scratched. And that's just completely clear and you don't have to worry about anything wrecking your lens. We'll go ahead and pop the back off right here and we can see the Sony E-mount right there. So let's go ahead and mount this on to my camera itself. We'll actually put that on there for a second. And this is my brand new Sony a7 IV. I have not even turned it on yet for the very first time. We just unboxed that. That'll be a previous video. So make sure you check that out. But we're gonna go ahead and press this button right here and we're gonna take that off. We're gonna grab this and does it have the mark? There it is. There's your mark right there. So that indicates where to put it in. And you can see the mark on my camera right there for my Sony a7 IV. So we're gonna align those up right there. Let's go ahead, come on, get there, align. Aligned, there we go. Aligned, and then we're gonna go ahead and just twist it clockwise. Click, boom, there it is. It's solidly in, and we've got it nicely mounted to the camera. So you can see how it looks on the a7 IV. We'll go ahead and take that off right now too. And you get a nice look at it. So you can see how it mounts. Very, very solid feeling, no problems at all. Fits perfectly fine. So we'll look at it from that way. So it's actually not too big of a lens, which is good. So I just did an unboxing of my Sigma lens and you can see how much bigger the Sigma lens is compared to the Tamron. So, uh, but fantastic lens, great wide angle lens. I got this for wide angle. I do actually a lot of videos like this where I'm actually close up and this can get super, super close. So in future videos, you're gonna see me using this camera and this lens. So if you wanna see, if you're watching this, maybe a month or two after I have filmed this video, then check out my new videos and it'll be used with this setup right here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like, follow, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.